Reaction There is judgment for or against by Yuji Krishnamurti. Hello everyone, this is author BB Flower. Welcome to my channel. I'm an author of the series All Call None. It is available on Amazon as ebook and paperback. Reaction There is judgment for or against by Yuji Krishnamurti. Yuji further explained that reaction is thinking about it. Right, wrong, good, evil. Whereas response is just looking without the intervention of thought. And so I was wondering about these two and I interpreted that reaction is always judging and judgment is imbalanced because it is for one and that puts you automatically against the other. A good example of response is, suppose you heard a sound, you look towards the source, then you turn back around and things go back to where they were before you heard the sound. No analysis or intervention of thought takes place to investigate where the sound came from, anything of that nature. None of that was done. But as a person living in this artificial world, can we do that if we hear a sound? Can we just do that? Can we just respond and then go back to where we were? Even if we were surviving in the nature as animals, could we have done that? No. Now, as a person living in the artificial world, we have to find out where the sound came from, mostly because of curiosity and secondly, to see if it might impact us. Using our knowledge bank, we will establish what that resembled, the sound that came. Thought takes over before we realize anything. For an animal, their reaction is purely for survival purposes. They will also turn around towards the sound. Now I have three cats and when we make even the slightest of sound like well I'm working in the kitchen or um, you know vacuuming my floor they go on full alert even though they are strictly indoor cats that instinct never leaves them because it is inherent and if the sound is really loud they just run off and hide somewhere. Now, in my series, All Call Nana, I have scrutinized or our justice system using that logic. Um, the imbalanced approach when we react using thoughts and pass judgment. And I have also conceptualized this thoughtless state as witnessing, opposed to looking, watching, knowing, observing, etc. or perceiving. <laughs> Now, let me read an excerpt from my series to bring both of these concepts out with an example. So here the characters Zenith and Eklavia are talking about the justice system in the human world and forensic scientists, how they help. So Zenith is supporting both of them, of course, because she's a conditioned human being. But Eklavia is pointing out the flaw by saying justice is never served as a crime is never witnessed so forensic scientists are essentially rebuilding a scene using their knowledge and zenith is confused because the law uses witnesses and forensic scientists also use the inanimate object as witnesses like the blood splatter pattern or the body deterioration analysis of the soil, analysis of all the elements on a dead person or a crime scene, you know, all the things that we don't consider living or intelligent enough to speak. Forensic scientists use them. But Eklavi is condemning that because humans are dishonest. So if we use, if the justice system is using humans as witnesses, he's saying humans are dishonest. That doesn't even count. We never are a witness as human beings. We react. And as for the forensic scientist, he said that 
they are looking at the inanimate objects but we don't have the power to read their memory all we are doing is looking analyzing using our knowledge so he dismissed both of them and Iklev is saying the witness I am talking about is different it is not in colloquial terms it is more about witnessing existence impartial non-judgmental and detached it has no significance in solving anything it is just another event in the existence of things so Zina is saying well simplify please so Iklav proceeds to explain okay so the witness you are talking about if prejudice exists then you are not witnessing it you again decipher what you saw from memory and meld it in with knowledge retrieving and rebuilding using your senses and conditioning since humans cannot display memory as it is not a digital recording you communicate that using words then it depends heavily on the perceiver and how they rebuild the scenario using their senses and conditioning communicating with words cannot simulate an unbiased picture because that event gets lost in translation so Zina responds in frustration so if it was digitally recorded then what we saw had to be there because I saw it so Iklavi replies you're right seeing is believing at a human level however your knowledge will translate that vision into words your interpretations your narrative your memory so Zina is further irked by that because he she's not getting it I mean it looked like Iklavi was agreeing with her but he was not <laughs> so she says oh I don't get it even when you agree with me it sounds condescending so Iglavi says, listen to me carefully. Truth is just a perspective, someone's opinion. Witnessing I am speaking of is looking at something from the outside, untainted, unbiased. Humans cannot do it, simply incapable of it. So Zenith whispers, why? Iglavi responds, because the present moment is all you got. Everything else is memory, personal and equivocal. So why did Iklavi say that it is because present is already past by the time we realize and past is a narrative retrieval of what happened retrieval of the memory and that is always colluded with knowledge hence he said it is personal opinion vague another excerpt from my series um, is from the um, Shala which is the a uh, higher being learning system where it is the learning is conducted by a native adaptive presence so the aspirant or the student is asking this adaptive presence why can they not wave and when he said they he, he meant humans why can humans not wave and wave is a form of communication that I believe occurs between everyone except us humans and it is covered in my communication podcast if you want to go ahead and check that out and it is also in my series if you want to read it so the adaptive intelligence replies to the aspirant owing to an excessive fascination with automation and technology waving receptors have disintegrated over millennia in all lower beings native intelligence is reduced to spec spawning many irregularities erosion of germinal genome endangers conflict with birth identities is nature's way of control be a witness and exist with it so what this presence is explaining is that humans are too busy reacting we already have a response in place we already know how we are going to rebuttal whenever we hear something and it is promoting witnessing for this aspirant as opposed to the human way of communication or responding or reactions the native adaptive intelligence is promoting this aspirant to be a witness you know whatever changes are happening in our world we resist that as humans 
because we have a preconceived notion of what normal is we cannot accept numerous genders we cannot accept exceptions we condemn differences because we draw lines good bad normal abnormal right wrong always judging always reacting if only we could witness and not react the world would then be a different place i mean not react at all no need to say oh we are all perfect or we are all beautiful or no need to say that we are all equal no need to say any of it or that this world is miserable it is miserable if you have the concept of happy it is chaotic if you have the concept of order something is bad because you already have the concept of good and these are reactionary words separating us from the other so as a closing statement i want to read what iklavi had said to zenith we should be aware not knowing if you know you itch to act on it if you are aware you exist with it no conflict no reaction no judgment well thank you for listening this is author bb flower signing off bye bye